It's time for Lockheed Martin to be wary of the unstoppable rise of a new beast, the C-390 Millennium. This next generation masterpiece from Embraer, the renowned aerospace manufacturer from Brazil, is ready to dethrone the legendary C-130 with a range of superior features. Not just a modern military transport aircraft, the C-390 Millennium promises to reshape how the world views military aviation. So what exactly makes nations turn away from the C-130 and embrace the C-390? And how will this aircraft revolutionize the global aviation industry? Let's find out in today's episode, the Embraer C-390. Millennium is a twin-engine jet transport aircraft developed by Brazil, designed to replace the C-130 Hercules in the Brazilian Air Force's fleet. The Millennium comes in two versions, the C-390 transport variant and the KC-390 aerial refueling version. With airport performance characteristics similar to the C-130 but superior in speed, range, and payload capacity, the Millennium has gained international interest. To date, Embraer has secured a total of 41 orders for the Millennium, with discussions ongoing for over 70 additional aircraft with various countries. Current orders include those from Portugal, Hungary, Austria, the Netherlands, South Korea, and the Czech Republic. Embraer has also established partnerships with BAE Systems and SAMI to market the aircraft in the Middle East. Additionally, a potential civil cargo version of the C-390 is under consideration, with a memorandum of understanding signed with Brazil's postal company, Correos, to explore this possibility. In addition, India's open tender for new military jets offers a major opportunity, with Embraer actively involved. Concurrently, Saudi Arabia is in preliminary discussions with Embraer to replace its aging Lockheed Martin C-130 Hercules fleet. Costa Jr. noted that while Saudi Arabia has no open tender at the moment, there is a clear demand for modern replacement aircraft. He said their extensive research shows that the C-390 could significantly enhance their capabilities during this replacement process. A potential deal with Saudi Arabia could include purchasing up to 25 units with a decision expected within the next two to four years. With a relatively modest number of orders compared to its competitor, the C-130 with around 2,600 aircraft, the Millennium is still seen as highly promising. Its potential is drawing interest from many countries, and there is potential for negotiating new orders in the future. Why? Let's find out about all the sides that make it highlight after that. But before doing that, listen to me. You won't want to miss hot news and our interesting analysis about aviation. So please subscribe if you're new here. We would appreciate it if you like, share, and leave your thoughts below. Thanks a lot. In the world of military transport aircraft, the Embraer C-390 Millennium and the Lockheed Martin C-130 Hercules stand out as two significant rivals. Although both perform transport missions, their clear differences highlight the significant advancements of the C-3 over its predecessor. The Embraer Millennium is a medium-sized military transport aircraft designed and developed by the Brazilian manufacturer in the early 2010 Soaro Cusses. The heaviest aircraft in Embraer's lineup made its first flight in February 2015 and entered service with the Brazilian Air Force in 2019. The Embraer C-3 Millennium can carry a higher payload than other medium-sized transport aircraft, including the Lockheed C-1 with 42,000 pounds, which is 19,090 kilograms, and the Antonov 178 with 39,600 pounds, which is 18,000 kilograms. The aircraft is capable of transporting both tracked and wheeled vehicles up to its maximum payload capacity. First, while both aircraft are capable of transporting passengers and cargo, the Millennium has a maximum takeoff weight, MTAU for short, of 191,800 pounds, which is approximately 87,000 kilograms. Meanwhile, the MTAU of the Lockheed Martin Hercules varies by variant. For the C-130E and H models, the MTAU ranges from approximately 155,000 to 164,000 pounds, which is between 70,300 and 74,800 kilograms. The newer C-130J variant has a higher MTAU, reaching up to 175,000 pounds or 79,832 kilograms. These comparisons emphasize the C-390 as an efficient, advanced, and modern transport aircraft, designed to meet the rigorous demands of today's military operations and cementing its place as a strong contender in the global military transport market. Secondly, when it comes to performance, 
the C-390 Millennium outclasses the older C-1 Hercules, thanks to its superior engineering and cutting-edge technologies. Equipped with two V2500E2 turbofan engines from International Aero Engines, each producing 31,330 pound force, which is approximately 139.4 kilonewton of thrust, the aircraft can reach a maximum speed of 533 knots, which is 614 miles per hour or 988 kilometers per hour. In contrast, the C-1 equipped with four Allison T-56A-15 turboprop engines, offers a comparable cruise speed of 540 miles per hour, but tops out at a slightly lower 592 miles per hour. The Millennium also has an edge in terms of range, with a standard range of 2,710 nautical miles and up to 3,370 nautical miles on ferry flights. This range was notably demonstrated during a mission where six Brazil aircraft completed a 1,350 nautical mile round trip, transporting 500 tons of cargo and 1,000 passengers in under two days, a speed improvement of 40% over the C-1. The versatility of the Brazilian aircraft is demonstrated by its ability to deliver cargo on various missions. Whether it's strategic cargo, such as weapons and supplies, or humanitarian aid, the aircraft's capabilities are tested through aerial delivery. The Embraer C-390 is equipped with an aerial delivery system that provides remote and automated cargo drops at both low and high altitudes. Thirdly, it offers multi-role capability, enabling a single aircraft to perform multiple missions at a lower cost. With its easy reconfiguration, air forces can optimize their fleet's performance. Forces can purchase a smaller number of aircraft and various kits to carry out different missions. The CEO of Embraer Defense and Security Bosco da Costa Jr. states, It's the only true multi-mission platform. All the C-390 that come out of our production line are capable of all the missions. It means that you don't need to buy one air to do air-to-air -air refueling and then another one to do cargo, for example. Finally, in terms of maintenance, the C-390 stands out with its cost efficiency. Aircraft with fewer engines generally have lower operating and maintenance expenses, and its two-engine design is more cost-effective than the Hercules' four-engine setup. This translates into savings in spare parts, labor, and reduced maintenance downtime. These benefits are especially appealing to military forces operating within strict budget limits. The C-3's reduced maintenance requirements, coupled with its advanced systems, contribute to its low life cycle costs. Embraer claims that this aircraft offers the lowest life cycle cost in its class, a statement supported by its use of modern technologies, such as Collins Aerospace's Proline Fusion Avionics. These features not only enhance performance, but also simplify maintenance tasks, leading to additional cost savings. Is that all? Not at all. Let's see what else makes the C-390 truly outstanding. The Airbus A400M Atlas and the Embraer Millennium stand out as two leading contenders in the field of military transport aircraft developed by Airbus, a top defense and aerospace conglomerate, and Embraer, Brazil's aerospace company. Each aircraft is designed to meet a range of operational needs, with unique features and capabilities suited to their roles in modern military and civilian transport missions. Although they do not fall into the same category, and the C-3 might be at a slight disadvantage, Let's make a comparison to highlight the flexibility and specific advantages of the C-390 compared to other superior aircraft. The Airbus A400M is primarily designed as a strategic military transport aircraft, capable of carrying heavy and oversized cargo over long distances. It is also equipped to perform aerial refueling missions and medical evacuations. Meanwhile, the C-390 Millennium is a tactical transport and aerial refueling aircraft optimized for delivering troops and cargo quickly to operational areas while refueling military aircraft. The key difference is that the A-400M is much larger, with a superior payload capacity compared to the Millennium. The Airbus aircraft can carry a maximum payload of around 37 tons and has a spacious cargo hold capable of transporting large military equipment and vehicles. In contrast, the Millennium has a more limited payload capacity at approximately 26 tons. Secondly, they are both versatile military transport aircraft, each with distinct characteristics suited to their intended use. While both perform transport missions, they differ significantly in capabilities and specifications. 
The Millennium has a maximum flight speed of approximately 422 knots, while the A400M surpasses this with a speed of up to 470 knots. In terms of range, the Airbus aircraft boasts an impressive range of 5,412 miles, 8,710 kilometers, which is considerably greater than the C-390's range of about 3,616 miles, 5,820 kilometers. The Airbus aircraft also has a wingspan of around 42.4 meters, compared to the smaller wingspan of the C-3, which is about 35.05 meters. Thirdly, this is an important point to consider when comparing these two aircraft. The Airbus A400M stands out with its versatility and power, designed to perform many critical tasks for modern armed forces. With a price tag of over $170 million and an operating cost of around $25,000 per hour, the A400M represents a significant investment. In contrast, the Embraer KC-390 Millennium, with an estimated price of around $80 million and an operating cost of under $24,000 per hour, offers a more cost-effective option. The Millennium specializes in air transport, troop deployment, cargo transport, and medical evacuation. With its outstanding features and promising future, more and more countries are looking to own this type of aircraft. What do you think about it? Leave a comment to let us know what you think. Thank you and have a safe flight.